speak. I'm down at the Jersey Shore. I'm a Jersey boy. Jersey strong, of course. So what are we going to do today? We're going to use the PowerXL air fryer grill combo. In that, in your air fryer, think about this for a second. We're going to make pasta and clams. In this? Can you imagine? Right here? Pasta and clams in your PowerXL air fryer. Now let me talk about why I chose the PowerXL air fryer grill combo. Now we call it the air fryer grill combo because it's an air fryer, America's number one brand of air fryers. Of course, we're PowerXL, right? Then it's also a grill. Um, PowerXL happens to also be America's number one brand of indoor grills. So it's an air fryer, it's a grill, but then we call it the combo. And you know why we do that? Because you can slow cook. You can saute, you can sear, you can boil pasta, you can pretty much do anything, almost any cooking technique you can imagine. And I always tell everybody, if you get the PowerXL air fryer combo and you can come up with a cooking technique that it doesn't do, please let me know. And then we'll talk about it because I bet I can figure it out. It does about 15 different cooking uh, techniques and that's why I chose it for today because we're gonna make clam sauce, we're going to make clams, all fresh, pasta, the whole bit, right in our air fryer. All right, so why don't we get started on the recipe? What do you think, Jess? Sounds like a plan. All right, but before we start, take a look at the view. Ooh the Jersey Shore. Hello, Krabbies. <laughs> Listen, I know Hello, we have a lot. Shrimpies. That's right. I know we have a lot of Jersey uh, people out there that watch all the time. And uh, the Jersey Shore is the best place for seafood. The clams, the oysters. We had, we had some Cape May salt oysters last night. They were fantastic. But let's talk about the sauce. What do I do? So first I take some hot Italian sausage. Now I know this isn't necessarily classic, but this is sort of my twist on it. I take the sausage. I turn the PowerXL combo on saute. I saute that sausage with onions, butter, olive oil, salt and pepper. Then what I do is I add in quite a bit of garlic because whenever you have seafood, butter, garlic, seafood, BGS, butter, garlic, seafood, and lemon, you can't go wrong with that combination. You put butter, garlic, and, um, and, and seafood together with some lemon, you're good to go. So after we saute the sausage and the onions, we put in some lemon and then we add a bunch of wine. White wine is great because you want that acidity in the sauce. You really can't over wine because the wine is going to cook off because we're actually cooking this very hot. So once this comes back up to a boil, I want Jesse to come in here and show you guys how powerful the PowerXL air fryer grill combo is. Now, I have the glass lid on. The glass lid means I can slow cook, I can sous vide, I can saute, I can make soup, I can make stew, I can do all of that stuff. So look at that, it's coming Ooh. to a boil. Isn't that great? Yes. So this is the sausage, the onions, it's butter, it's lemon, it's garlic, everything is in there. So we're sauteing that very, very rapidly right now because I want to reduce it. You want to reduce that sauce probably by about a quarter because you want to get that full flavor extraction out of it. All right, so we're getting there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add our chopped clams. Now these clams, you can get them fresh, which is fine, but typically uh, when you're making clam sauce, you use uh, canned clams. Now I'm using about a cup of canned clams, just two or three cans, it depends how big they are. See how pretty that is? Mm -hmm. And you want to use the broth that's in the can. Don't drain that broth off because that's the money. That's pounding this sauce with flavor is the broth from the clams. Now I'm going to dump these in. Now these are already cooked, you guys. These clams are actually steamed already. So you don't want to overcook them, but at the same time you can add them a little bit later because they are already cooked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of herbs. I have uh, some parsley and some fresh oregano. If you don't have fresh oregano, you, it's fine, you can, use, uh, you can use dried. But you want a little bit of that Italian seasoning in there, that flavoring, not too much, but it just kind of brightens it up, makes it pretty and fresh, 
and then we're going to finish it up with some extra herbs. Now again, this is going to come back up to a boil. In fact, I'm going to turn it even higher. That's what I love about this one. You can control everything. Everything with the spin of a dial. Yep. Now, if you've seen me on QVC uh, presenting this live or you've seen the infomercial, you can watch the full infomercial on YouTube. Um, I talk about it being a restaurant on your countertop. The reason I say that is because, look, on my countertop right here, I'm making seafood. So we're going to our favorite seafood restaurant tonight, which is right here on my countertop. It's clams, it's pasta, right? But what else could I do? I could actually have had a shrimp fest. We could have had air fried shrimp right here in the PowerXL air fryer grill combo. Or even we could have just had grilled shrimp because it's also a grill. So I could do a whole, actually I have done hours and hours <laughs> just talking about all the different things that this unit can do. This PowerXL unit is unbelievable. And if you guys watch the lives that I do, you'll see that uh, my cookbook, uh, Toss and Go, oh. which is available on Amazon, QVC, Books A Million, it's available everywhere. There it um, is. I do almost every, actually every recipe right here. It's a slow cook cookbook and it's a pressure cook cookbook. But the PowerXL combo grill is a slow cooker. So it does so many things, but it does so many things well. PowerXL is America's favorite brand. All right, so Jess, look at this rolling boil. What does the rolling boil mean? Power. Right. It means it's got power. full power yep. to get all of this. Now I have about four quarts of liquid in here, but you guys, ooh. guess what's coming? Real clams. clams can, I, can I get a ooh from the audience? Ooh. ooh, I have an audience today. So you gotta stick around, I'll show you who's here. So don't leave. All right, so clams are great. So I washed these. Um, you know, standardly, I, I put them in a water for about 30 minutes. I scrub them and then I rinse them off. Now what I do is I now look at that. Can you see the sausage? Look at this, the sausage, the clams, the onions, the spices. Now I am going to just evenly distribute these and then I'm going to put this lid back on. We're going to get this back up to a rolling boil. The great thing about clams is they tell you when they're done. They tell you when they're done, when they open up. If they don't open up, no problem, toss that one. If it doesn't open up, it means it's no good. So you can't make a mistake with clams. That's what's so fantastic about them. Of course, get them fresh, they smell great. You just stick your nose in there, and if they smell good, they're ready to go. And then you just rinse them off in uh, cold water, about 30 minutes, put them in a colander, scrape them, you know, just kind of rub them, and, uh, and then you just drop them in boiling liquid. And in no time, it, it takes about a couple of minutes, honestly, to get them to open up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove some of my uh, ingredients because it's almost time for the big reveal. And the big reveal is literally um, the pasta and the clams. I'm going to serve it up in a bowl. Of course, I have a finished one already done because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough time to get this to... Uh, Oh yeah, look at that's oh, happening. Yeah. It's happening, Jess. Look at this. Are they opening? Oh, they're getting there. They're just oh, I see that. I see that. They're just about to open. Now these clams were ice cold. So we're gonna get them up to a yeah. boil. Hopefully, before the end of this segment, which I guarantee you, the clams will open. All right. Now, let's talk about pasta. The pasta I cooked in the combo, I did it yesterday. I cooked the pasta yesterday and I put it in a Ziploc bag. Here's a tip for everybody. You do not have to cook your pasta a la minute, which means immediately. Um, a lot of times people think if they cook their pasta a day ahead of time, it's not gonna be good. It's not true. Cook your pasta about two minutes less than the box tells you. Drain it, hit it with some cold water, put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the fridge. Then when you're ready to eat the pasta, you can either Dump it in boiling water for about 30 minutes or Five seconds, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> you can just drop it in boiling water for 30 seconds. Or if you have a sauce going, you just dump it in that sauce and wait two minutes and it's perfect. So you don't have to kill yourself when you're serving pasta, make it a day ahead of time, make it in the morning, put it in a Ziploc. Trust me, you will really, really appreciate that tip. If that's not something that you're already doing. All right. 
So I have one that I, of course, I always say through the magic of social media, we always have a finished one. But trust me, I'm not gonna not show you what's happening inside the pot because those clams are gonna pop. Now, how do we serve this? What I like to do is I like to put some fresh tomatoes on there. Don't cook them because the fresh tomatoes with the cooked pasta is so good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some, we call this Italian salt in my family. <laughs> this is a Lucatelli Parmesan. Yum. <laughs> I love it, it's my favorite. My favorite. And then we're going additional. What I did is I made some shards, see this? I made some shards because I wanted some big pieces also of the Parmesan cheese to go over it. Of course, you guys know me, I always finish everything with a nice, uh, fresh herbs. Ooh, look at that clam. The clams. I have dibs on that one. <laughs> Listen, we got a whole pot, Jess, so there's plenty to go I around. Want that one. Oh, is that right? All right. That one's mine. Okay, so my clams are going. As soon as these clams open up, you can see I'm already getting a boil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pasta in, okay. and then I'm going to cook it for another two minutes. Okay. First of all, look at the Jersey Shore. <laughs> One more time. The panoramic view. And then second of all, say hi to my family. All the boats. Hey, everybody. Say hi to my mom. Hi. Arlene. Hi, Arlene. It's my sister, Robin. And there's my dad. Everybody calls him Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Franco, I call him. So I actually have a live studio Franco. audience today. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> All right, look, so just show this one more time. Paloxel sure. Combo Air Fryer Grill. It does so many things. It does so many things well. Trust me, you will love it if you have it. I know you will talk to me any minute and mm. tell me how much you love it because everybody loves it. Amazing. It's one of, I think, all the Paloxel products that we sell are love. That's why we're America's number one brand. But this one in particular, because it does so many things, people tend to never take it off their countertop. Now, when I took the pasta and clams out of here, if I wanted to put in a baguette and air fry it with some garlic and butter, I could have an air fried garlic, uh, garlic bread in no time. You could do a lot of stuff. Darlene Don just said she made clams casino last week in the PowerXL company. Oh, share your recipe, Darlene. Uh -huh. And oh, by the way, you guys, if you, speaking of sharing things, yeah. let's share. If you guys could share this on your page, that would be great. This way you can take a look, maybe try to remember uh, some of the things that we did here today, and then your friends get to see the recipe. So I would appreciate the share. Yes, the sharing. And thank caring. you, Darlene. I hope you share your recipe. Uh, Allison McCall Francis said, hi, Arlene, Frank, and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, money. That's my friend Money. We call her Money. Vanessa Lou said, that looks so good. Oh, Michelle hi, Siegel Vanessa. Michelle Siegel said, Thies family looking good. Hey, Jess, wasn't there a Thies on my... Yes. Uh, a Fiona Thies? A Fiona Thies. I and and you spell your name the same way I do. I, Fiona, if you're out there. Fiona, what's your family tree? Do we, who knows, maybe you're my long lost cousin. Yeah, let's find out. Uh, Michelle McVicker said the weather looks so nice right now. I hope you guys are safe oh. later. There's gonna be a storm. I know, Michelle, of course. I know. There's gonna be a crazy storm tonight. But let me tell you something. We've had, what, five great days? Yeah, we've been lucky. At least. Oh, and by the way, Jess, mm -hmm. by the way, we were trying to figure out, you guys, there's a lot of people who've joined us almost since the very first live episode right. that we've done, right? Right. Well, I think this might be our 50th. Oh, I think it, it might be. We may have literally done 50 uh, episodes of live. So I, I appreciate that. I, I'm you glad. You know what that is? What is that? A reason for a toast. <laughs> I can't Listen, wait. I'll wait. Jessica Thies, I used all the wine in the oh, pasta. Oh, no. So either we're going to have to run out no, or no. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> we also have a lot of hungry people. You oh, good. A lot of people hungry. Joe Kalvig says, I am so hungry. Nancy Kalex says, hi, Eric. Steve Hornick says, what town are you in right now? Oh, we're in Brigantine, New Jersey. Yep. Victoria McElwain says she loves her Power XL combo. Oh, Vicky, we know you do. Uh-huh. Betty Davis said she's in Florida. She wait, said, oh, do you, wait, does wait. she have Betty Davis eyes? Oh, I, I, I was going to try to stop you. No, I had to do it. You had to do it. My mom would probably sing Betty Davis eyes right oh, now. Oh, boy. 
if that she could, had a that mic. That would be fun. <laughs> Betty Davis said she thinks we're going to get Storm Elsa tonight. I know. That's yeah. what I heard. That's um, bend down the hatches. Yes. I'll bring out the sailor. <laughs> Cheryl Prince from Park Falls, Wisconsin. Oh, I love Wisconsin. Yeah. Lois Murray from upstate New York. Hey, Lois. We have um, Terry Provovich saying, welcome back, Eric, because she said last week was so I know. So we had, exciting. Dude, we had the worst thunderstorms ever. I mean, I feel like I felt like my house, I felt like it was going to be like the Wizard of Oz and my house was going to fly up in the air and land on a witch. It was, it was unbelievable. Ooh, ooh you know who's here? Who? Zareen. Zareen Fidlon? Yes. Say hi. Cooking with Zareen. <laughs> Zareen has a blog as well. Ah, uh, hey, uh, Zareen. Donna Miles says that looks absolutely Donna, Oh, delicious. man, all my friends are I know, here. everyone's checking. What, is it raining over there? You guys are at the pool? Leslie Brooks really wants one of these combos. Yes, Leslie. Listen, if you can get one of these, it, oh, Jess, look. Uh-oh. Look. Ba all right. They opened. They opened. Now, it's these. Like, it's like the kittens were born or I know. I'm look, so look, look at the clams. That's, That's how awesome. much power the PowerXL air fryer combo has. I came up to full boil after I threw in. Look at all these That's clams, so you guys. That's beautiful, Eric. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. This is unbelievable. So this is what we're going to eat for dinner tonight, literally. So we're going to have clams and pasta. And I'm so glad that you guys joined us. I hope that you guys will enjoy easy cooking every day because when you enjoy easy cooking every day, your life's going to be easier and you'll eat more and you'll be healthier. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, that's what Power Excel is all about. We make products that excel and we try to let you have cooking that will make your life easier. And uh, you leave it on the counter and you'll have a restaurant on your countertop. Trust me, you will. And uh, I will see you next week. Again, I think this might have been our 50th episode. Well, I Let's I'm not sure. Let's pretend and have a toast. But let's just pretend. We're going to pretend today's the 50th. So thank you guys, and I hope you'll join me Thanks, next week. Thanks, guys. Uh, I guess that's it.